all right hello hello welcome to heal in a center row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your general love reading so we're going to find out what is going on with you and the person on your mind keep in mind it is general so it may or may not resonate take it if it does leave it if it doesn't if you guys want to book something personal with me my information is down below in the description box all right so let's take a look and see what is going on with you and the person on your mind Okay, so we have Venture coming through here. Some of you guys could have met this person through work. Um, <clears throat> this could be someone who maybe you have to travel to here or there's some sort of distance between you and this person. Okay. Some of you also too, I'm hearing, we have laughter here. Um, some of you I'm hearing that this person, I don't know if you're involved with them in some sort of, like work project so even if you didn't meet at work maybe they're involved in some sort of project together or taking on some sort of task we do have the laughter card here so this is definitely someone that you've had a lot of fun with or someone that makes you laugh you could you may think that this person is very funny okay so let's take a look and see what's going on with this person for those of you i saw a comment <laughs> it's funny because Someone asked about one of the decks, and then um, someone said that she normally doesn't respond. It's not its not that I don't respond. It's just that a lot of these decks, I don't keep the, the boxes. Um, I don't have the boxes for them, and some of them I can remember, but some of them I can't remember. So I apologize. Like, this deck here is beautiful. I honestly don't remember. I think it's something fairy, but I don't remember because I don't keep the boxes for any of the cards. So that's why, that's the only reason why I don't answer. Um unless I do know, or if I've already answered it like many times before, but um, yeah, so sorry about that guys, but I just don't have, I don't have the box, so honestly I don't know. Okay, so let's take a look and see, so what's going on with you and this person? What's going on with you and this person? Oh wow, so we have the moon coming through here, confront. So, this could be a connection where you or your person have, have had to confront a lot of deep fears. I'm seeing this child here. So this could be one of those connections where it's like you're having to face your inner child wounds. It could be bringing out a lot of deep um, pain. Okay, it could be one of those mirroring connections. Yeah, because we have the hanged man here and we have observe. To me, this looks like a situation that has been on pause. And during this pause, it's like either you or your person or, or maybe even both of you have had to confront your fears or have had to confront these inner child wounds. So let's see, how does this person feel about you right now? This person on your mind, how does this person feel about you right now? We have giving and receiving in reverse. Okay, so there's, a, there's an imbalance here. This person is probably not giving to the situation. Okay, we have refusing to see it, and we have detach in reverse. This person's having a really hard time detaching from you. The fact that this is in reverse, but they're refusing to see something. They're, they're being indecisive here. So I feel like this person has kind of kept you in limbo. They're not giving to you, but they haven't let you go, but they're also not making a decision, right? Um, let's see, what is blocking this person's energy? What is blocking this person's energy? Joy and stability in reverse. Okay, so this person doesn't feel stable in their life. That's a big problem here. Um, it may be that maybe this person doesn't feel stable, like they don't have a stable home environment. They could be struggling financially or just struggling to kind of support themselves here. This could also be emotional stability. Like they may feel that they're not emotionally stable right now and that they're not, they don't even have enough happiness in their life or stability to be able to um, offer you something. So I feel like this is someone who, like I said, in the past, you could have had a lot of fun with. It could have been a really fun connection with this person. Maybe you had a lot of laughs. Again, some of you might have met this person at work. That's more of a specific message. I feel like <clears throat> someone in this connection or both of you are having to face your deepest fears. Sometimes we meet people and it's like they mirror something back to us. And I feel like this is a mirroring connection of maybe inner child wounds. Now, this person right now, guys, I'm just kind of giving you the layout. 
this person, they're not giving to you, but the reason why is because it's like they're in this indecisive energy. They're trying to, they're kind of like refusing to make a decision about you, um, avoiding it, but they haven't let you go. So maybe that's why you could, maybe that's why you're getting a reading on this person because you're still feeling them energetically. They haven't fully released you, but the reason why they've been blocked is because they don't have any happiness or stability in their life right now. So they don't feel very, um, they don't feel very stable. Okay, so what's your energy towards them? Wow, we have helpless and hopeless. The positive thing is that it's in reverse. So you guys are breaking out of this mentality. I think at one point you felt very helpless in this situation. You could have felt very powerless to this person, but you guys are breaking out of this energy. So you're breaking free of feeling helpless. You guys still have very strong feelings for this person. We have the love card, lovers, Gemini energy. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm seeing here that a lot of you have a lot of deep feelings for this person. Um, at one point, I think you felt powerless to them or you felt very hopeless in the situation. You were in a negative headspace, but you're releasing yourself from that. So maybe you guys are feeling hopeful about this connection or about this person. <clears throat> so Spirit, tell me about this connection. Oh, I just blew up my candle by accident. Tell me about this connection. Okay. Wow, we have a lot of cards coming out. So we have focus in reverse. Listening in reverse. Letting go in reverse. Wow. Yeah, see? Okay, exactly. So this kind of reminds me of like the detach in reverse. It's like letting go in reverse. Can't let go. Right? So trying to let go, but I feel like... So this to me feels like this person has been really having a hard time letting you go, but I think that you're also having a hard time letting this person go. Maybe this connection has been on pause with the hanged man here, but the problem here is that neither of you are really listening to each other. So maybe in the past there was arguments um, or conversations that didn't go well because neither of you were really listening to the other person. Maybe both of you are wanting to be heard, but not neither of you were really listening. Um, Interesting, we have the focus card in reverse. Why is this here? Yeah, oh wow, okay. Sorry, I just dropped a card here. So, really interesting because the focus card, then we have dedicated effort in reverse. So if you think about so if you think about dedication, you're putting all of your focus into something, right? But this is in reverse. So there's like a lack of focus on this connection. It's like someone in this connection, and I feel like it could be just more more so one person, wasn't focused enough on it. Like wasn't putting enough of their time and energy into the situation. Wasn't dedicating themselves um, to the situation. And I feel like also too listening could have been a problem here. Okay, let's see. So what is this person, what are their intentions with you? Okay, what are your person's current intentions with you? They wanna come back around, five of pentacles in reverse. They wanna come back around. It says here, you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts creating self-fulfilling prophecies. So this person has a lot of negative thoughts that they're trying to break out of, but it says here, you needn't be alone. So I feel like this person, or you needn't go through your challenges alone. This person wants to, maybe they left you alone in the past, but they wanna to try to work on things. Five of Pentacles is like, you're lonely, you're coming out of loneliness. So this person's intentions um, are to come back around to you is what I'm seeing here, okay? But they haven't been communicating. Page of Gabriel in reverse is the Page of Wands in reverse. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. Energetic, brave, optimistic, playful. I feel like this person is not feeling super optimistic um, or energetic or brave about this situation. Um, they want to come back around to you, but I feel like they have problems with communication. This is someone who struggles with communication, and I could tell because my throat chakra started to close the second I started doing this reading. Um, <clears throat> What is their most likely action towards you? So are they going to reach out? Are they going to communicate? We have the four of pentacles. This person is holding back, guys. They're holding back from you. So they want to come back around. It's like their intentions are to come back around, but then they hold back because here we go again. Look at this. The two of swords coming through. Again, I asked why 
internally I asked why is this person holding back and we have the two of swords. It will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem. So this is what this person has been doing. They're over analyzing the situation. They're overthinking it way too much. They're stuck in their head. Um, that was what we were seeing at the very beginning with this mental conflict energy. <clears throat> so if this person has been holding back from you, it's because they're just stuck in their head, like refusing to make a decision. So what is it that you're wanting with this person? What is it that my viewers are wanting with this person? You guys are wanting a new beginning, maybe a commitment, Ace of Pentacles. It's a commitment card for me. Uh, but you're wanting some sort of change here. Oh, you definitely want commitment. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is clear. Your intentions are quite clear. So you're coming through as wanting a commitment with this person. Um, your person's intentions are to come back around, but the problem is, is like they don't communicate or they aren't brave enough to communicate because it's telling me that their most likely action towards you is the four of pentacles, which is holding back. It says here, when you give, you also receive being resistant to change. So this person, it's like they struggle with giving. Right? And that was what we were getting at the very beginning with this person, giving and receiving in reverse. I feel like this person doesn't give equally. So you may have felt like in the past you gave a lot more to this person than they gave to you because they don't, they're resistant to change. It's like they need to learn the lesson of in order to receive something, you also have to give something in return. You have to give some of your emotions or some of your time. And I feel like this is something that this person is just doesn't understand at this point and they just refuse to make a decision about you. You guys are waiting for some sort of commitment, I feel like, from this person. Okay, <clears throat> what's the major blockage here? What's the major blockage? Yeah, why do we keep getting this, guys? Oh my gosh, we have listen in reverse. So this is a message that keeps coming through for your reading. We've had listening in reverse twice. That's really odd. Okay, like really odd. This is keeps coming through as the challenge for you guys. So it's I think the communication between the two of you, the challenge is like, are you guys listening to each other? You know, when someone says something like, okay, this is what I'm feeling or this is what I need or whatever it may be, it's like someone isn't listening to the other person. You know, sometimes we get so focused on, okay, this is what I, this is what I want. And we just want to be heard that we don't actually give the opportunity for the other person to be heard as well. So I think this is a big struggle for the two of you or in the past it was, is really listening to each other. So if you do get an opportunity to communicate with this person, definitely make a point to listen and to make it clear that you are listening. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Like even like my throat, like see that you guys hear that? <clears throat> starting to close up um, what is the most likely outcome here what is the most likely outcome here we got the healing begins in reverse now this could kind of go two ways because the six of swords reverse can be someone coming back but this could also indicate delayed healing so let's see what's the most likely outcome between these two <clears throat> what's the most likely outcome the ace of wands okay so I do see a new beginning for you and this person. I feel like uh, we have healing begins in reverse, six of swords reverse, ace of wands. So I do see a new beginning. I do see if there's been distance, someone coming back around, six of swords is like, if someone left, they're coming back. Um, <clears throat> I think, let me see. I think there still needs to be some sort of healing here. Yeah. The healing is going to take place in this connection when there's more understanding. The big lesson for the two of you is like, how can you provide more understanding and listening to each other? Because both of you may have gone through different experiences and you may have different ideas of what you're wanting or what you're feeling. And so it's really important that in order to make this situation work or this connection work, that there's a lot of understanding between each other and also just a lot of listening because this wouldn't come out twice if it wasn't um, a strong message. Okay. And then let's see what the advice is for you. So what's the advice for those who are watching, Spirit? 
We have the Queen of Raphael, the Queen of Cups, beautiful. Kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. So a lot of you guys, I think, are already a giving person. It says here, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So a lot of you are being called to just step into this very kind, and we have the word understanding again, okay? So we're getting like kind of the same words coming through in different decks. So the top there's understanding, and then we have understanding, and I was just saying that this is what's important to bring to the table. So when you come into this connection, if you deal with this person, which I do see you're gonna have a new beginning with them, it's really important to be very kind, very gentle, very understanding with this person. Definitely take time to listen, okay? This person may feel that they're not heard in the connection, um, it says here, follow your heart, and also to your very intuitive. So if you've been getting into intuitive signs, messages, synchronicities, Spirit is saying to trust that, okay? Um, but that's what I have for you guys, so I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you want to book your own personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.